All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today I'm very excited to bring you another very new, very uniquely designed watch from a very new company. As a matter of fact, this is the very first watch uh, or uh, in the collection from Marchand Watch Company. Now, Marchand Watch Company is out of New Zealand. Um, the, the history or the inspiration behind the company, the owner, Daniel Brigham, um, his grandfather, or excuse me, his great-grandfather, Adamar Marchand actually joined and worked for Benrus Watch Company back in the early 1930s in Switzerland. So he has a, a lineage reaching back to the Swiss watchmaking community. Now, Daniel himself, he, he uh, in his younger years, in his teens, into his 20s, he was involved in motorsports and racing and car, very much a car enthusiast and stuff like that. And even when he got out of that later on in life, he decided that he wanted to do something to continue to bring that racing inspiration uh, you know, out there to everybody. Now, because of the background in his family with watchmaking and being around fast cars, if you guys know about racing and stuff like that, there's always sponsorship by big watch companies and stuff like that. So you basically, you're really around the stuff all the time. And so uh, that inspires you to want to make watches. And obviously, because it's racing, Daniel wanted to make racing inspired watches. Okay, so I'm going to bring go ahead and stop talking about it and show you guys here the packaging that this watch comes in. You have this very nice leather case, zipper case, travels type case, soft supple leather with the Marchand watch company embossed there on it. You guys can see the stitching all the way around there. Now I'll tell you guys, um, when Daniel cont uh, contacted me about looking at this watch, it was just, you know, a number of days. Uh, before this watch came in the mail and he told me that all these watches ship out to pretty much anywhere in the world within like six or seven days it's really quick how quickly you get this watch very nicely done here now i do have the package unzipped and open i have taken the plastic uh, you know coverings off the dial and off the back of the watch just so that we can take a look at it here very nicely lined tra travel case you do have the elastic band there to hold it you have some information here that comes with the watch and this is a little bit more about the company and the vision. And that is Admir Marchand there. Very neat picture, very cool picture. These watches come with a one year warranty. I think that is the warranty card down there in the package also. So let's go ahead and get this out of here and bring it up here and look at it. Now, I was born in 1970, and so, and in my family, cars were always a big deal. As a matter of fact, in my teenage years, me and my father built a couple cars. We built a 1955 Chevy Bel Air from the frame up, uh, basically a frame up re restoration on that, and also a 63 Nova in my high school years. So being around cars and stuff like that, first thing I noticed, it was funny, I showed this watch to my dad, and he said, whoa, it's a steering wheel. So this is the 1960s style big hole design steering wheel that you see there in the center. Obviously, when you take a look at the watch, it gives you that, that automotive feel right off the bat to me. The way the dial is laid out with the numbers there reminds me of like a, a tack meter or a rev limiter, you know, a rev, uh, rev meter on your engine. And if I can get it up here close enough, you guys can see this. You guys can see the white indicators for the minute track and right up here at the 10 o'clock position, which is this spoke here on the wheel, on the steering wheel, you guys can see that it changes to red. Kind of like a rev limiter on a watch. Neat, neat design. Now you guys can see the uh, second hand ticking there along, the red second hand, which is a great color addition to the watch. This is running a Ronda 785 quartz movement in it. Very reliable, very good quartz movement. And as you guys can see, this thing pretty much hits the second marks right on. Very nicely done. 316L stainless steel all the way around on this watch. Brushed finish here, done very nicely. And you have this aluminum insert here all the way around, which I think is just a absolutely beautiful addition. Being into, you know, doing car modifications when I was younger and stuff like that, this aluminum on your, you know, radiator parts and uh, different hose pieces and stuff like this, this, this knurled aluminum here is a real common thing you see in racing and, you know, up, uh, car upgrades and stuff like that. So it's really neat. The sign crown there, the Marchand logo there on the crown. Very nicely done. This is not a screw down crown. 
but I'll show you the back here. This is rated to 100 meters water resistance. Now a very, very nicely done leather rally strap on this watch. I have a very similar strap to this design on my uh, Omega Seamaster. Well, it used to be mine. My wife kind of absconded with it, which is fine. She deserves it. But a very nice strap. I love these, these leather rally straps. And this one with this finish on it and this orange stitching, just absolutely well done. Top grain leather. Now on the back of the watch, as you guys can see here, you do have this very beautifully engraved uh, case back with the Swiss movement number 52. Now they're calling that Swiss movement number 52, but I can tell you that is a Ronda 785 in there. You have the Marchand watch company there at the top with their logo and their driver's edition down there at the bottom. 10 atmospheres and all stainless steel construction. I love the case back construction here. These are kind of sandwiched together the way these watches are designed. I mean, it's just so unique and so different. Quick release 20 millimeter hidden lugs on this watch. And let me show you guys down in here how beautifully uh, the machine work done on the watch and the case and stuff like that is just so absolutely unique and beautiful. Just so well done. And I just, I think this hidden lug design is just really unique and, and, and neat. This, uh, sorry guys, from the camera angle, it's a little tough to do that. Okay, got that. Now this is a 43 millimeter case, side to side, and it is a 10.5 millimeter thickness. They rated it, they say it's 10 millimeters, but I think because of the, the bump in the case back there and a little bit of the crystal, it's closer to 10.5 than I measured, but nice and thin and obviously there's no lug length it's 43 millimeters all the way around because it's round design on this watch so let me go ahead and take this off here and we can get a wrist shot for you of this on my wrist i have a seven and a quarter inch wrist so go ahead and take a look we're in my actually i'm wearing my orient bambino today great watch so here we go All right, now there it is on my, uh, like I said, seven and a quarter inch, which is such a different looking watch, so unique. You're not gonna, you're not gonna see many people wearing anything like this. And I think it's, if you feel like wearing something different, unique, um, this is definitely it. And, and just racing inspired. I mean, there's just something about this watch that is so well done. Now this one, like I said, is running the 785 Ronda Quartz in it. They are making a new one. I know they're they're putting together a brand new watch. It's going to be their Legacy. It's a 42 millimeter watch, so a little bit smaller. Pretty much the same case design and everything like that, but that one's going to be running a Miyota's 9015 automatic movement, which is a high beat movement in it. This watch is employing a sapphire crystal. Absolutely beautiful. And as you guys can see down there at the four o'clock position, we do have a date window also, which is very nicely done. There is Swiss Luminova on the hands and on the on the uh, the indices, the minute indices there, and they glow very very nicely at night. Very good loom on this watch. You guys will like it. All right, guys, that is the Debonair uh, from the Marchand Watch Company. I will put a link to the company down at the bottom. I'll put information about this watch down there at the bottom. This watch is getting ready to go on tour, guys. It will be going to Marshall Time next, Chris Marshall's channel. Then it will be going to Bob at Time to Go Travel and Time Pieces up in Canada. You guys see the signed buckle there? There it is. And then after Bob has this watch, it'll be making its way out to Pennsylvania. Uh, where Scott Stoffer watches Good Laura will look at it and hopefully get it onto another couple channels. I think we'll try to get this over to Peter Von Panda also. So you guys keep an eye out for the Debonair by Marchand watch, a racing inspired watch. Very cool. Very great job, Dan. Thanks for sending this out to the channel, the review. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. If you've not subscribed to the OFD channel, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.